Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to kind of talk about multiple things going on right now uh, that I think are very exciting for the Kaiju Tokusatsu uh, fan and community. Uh, we have a lot of stuff happening in the next couple of months regarding Godzilla, uh, Shin, uh, Shin Ultraman, and of course this new movie coming out called The Lake. So I kind of want to talk about all three. I know some of you guys were requesting or asking whether or not I was going to do a video about the Call of Duty trailer. And I figured, you know, I don't have a whole lot to say about these three things, so I'm just going to put them in one video. But what we will do is uh, tonight on our stream at 8 p.m., we have a lot to discuss. So we're definitely going to watch and talk about the Call of Duty trailer. That'll probably be very brief. We'll definitely we're going to look at the the lake trailer together, and then we're also going to look at the Shin Ultraman trailer, uh, which I, I'm I gotta say I'm pretty well. I'll get into that in a minute, but and then we'll talk more about this whole Cloverfield paradox bullshit story, whatever. <laughs> not Cloverfield paradox. I'm just saying it's a paradox. I'm not actually trying to say the movie's called Cloverfield paradox. But um, let's start with Shin Ultraman. So I saw this trailer, and I gotta say I'm very interested in watching it. It looks really good i was surprised i was like wow this actually looks pretty good um now you guys know i have been tipping my toe in and out of the lake that is ultraman because it is a very overwhelming um ip to get into because there's so much to watch and i've gotten so many different recommendations from people on where to start and where you know don't either don't go back and watch the old ones or go back and watch the old ones. So I just decided, you know, I'm going to start with this movie. It's going to be the most recent one. Let me, obviously the effects are going to be better than most of the things that came before it. But still, I know Ultraman comes up a lot on the channel and I know I, I have memed on it, joked on it, but in all seriousness, we're going to give it a shot with this movie. We're going to start with this movie and if it generates me enough interest, I'll probably go back and watch some of the more recent things. Um, so, you know, we'll see. But it, it does look good. I was I was watching the trailer and I'm like, wow, this uh, I like some of those monster designs that came out. Um, there wasn't too much shown in terms of action like that. But I was like, all right. All right. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm going to check this out. So, we're, like I said, we're going to look at that trailer tonight. We'll go over it together. Uh, I'll probably question you guys, you Ultraman know-it-alls whether any of these monsters in there are new or if there's something that uh, they're just kind of updated, stuff like that. So, but I think they were, they showed like two monsters. So, you know, not a whole lot there, but it does come out next month on the 13th. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to kind of get it from somewhere, you know, watch it on, on the internet somewhere. I know that when Shingo Jira came out, it was not something I was fortunate enough to catch it early. If you guys remember, but for the most part, a lot of people weren't able to watch it till much later when it came out here in the States. I think it was like six or nine months later. Um, but a lot of people were able to kind of find a way to watch it. So most people did see it. Now, The Lake looks really good. Now, if you haven't seen this one, uh, well, like I said, once again, we'll check it out tonight together. But if you don't want to wait that long, just go on YouTube and put in The Lake 2022. Uh, it seems to be... I don't know. I, I don't know what language they're speaking. I don't know if that's Mandarin or if it's Thai, but one way or the other, it it looks like a very good movie. It looks to be all practical effects. The, they do show the monster in the trailer quite a bit, and I think one of the reasons they do that is because at least from what I see, from what I can see, it looks like the monster either grows or possibly goes through some sort of evolutionary stage because there are some shots in the trailer where the monster is right next to a human and it looks maybe to be a foot or two taller than the human it's next to. But then there's another shot where there's a bunch of people in a city and they're kind of looking up at this monster. So I would say this is definitely looks like a new kaiju movie, but not kaiju in a sense of like what we see in the Godzilla movies where they're like huge. This monster looks like it's going to be bigger than a dinosaur, but much smaller than, say, the MonsterVerse monsters. But nonetheless, it looks incredible. I was like, wow, this looks really good. Um, this movie comes out in August, and um, hopefully, once again, we'll find a way where we can check it out. But uh, if you haven't seen the trailer, go check it out. It's really, it looks really good, and we're going to also check it out tonight on the stream, and we'll get into discussions with that as well. Um, 
so yeah, those are two upcoming films that we can sick our teeth into and talk about. And uh, hopefully they both deliver. You know, both trailers look really good. I am excited for the Ultraman trailer. I'm, I'm kind of excited to finally dive into that IP. And um, I figured, let me start here. You know what I mean? It looks like it's going to be possibly a one-off movie. And even if it does continue, at least I'll have some context from the beginning of this movie. I don't, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to link it to the other lore. But, you know, we'll, I'll make my best to understand or I'll... I'll probably pepper you guys with questions. So, and in terms of the lake, the lake just looks, it looks solid. I mean, it's definitely not like summation. It doesn't appear. It, it looks like it's like animatronics. It, it's definitely practical effects. That's pretty clear, but it's very good practical effects. I mean, it gave me, there were certain parts of the trailer that gave me like alien vibes. There were certain parts of the trailers that give you Jurassic Park vibes. So absolutely looks good. Now, let's get into Call of Duty. I don't know how this happened, and I don't know exactly what they're going to do. Uh, I haven't played Call of Duty in about a year. Um, I got back into it with Modern Warfare a couple of years ago, and then I played pretty much all the way into like the first two months of Black Ops. Then I just kind of stopped. I had my fix. You know, I, I treat my, my shooting games kind of like I treat my sports games. I play them every other year, every couple of years, because there's really never a big change from year to year. Um, so like, for example, now I haven't played Madden in God knows how long because they just have completely shit all over that game. But something like MLB The Show, I love MLB The Show. I play it a lot. This is actually the first time I bought it back to back. And that's only because I wanted to play as the Mets since the Mets finally have a competing team. Um but for the most part, I treat my sports games and my shooting games much the same. I only play them every couple of years when I need. For shooting games, it's just a fix. I, I do like first-person shooters, but I do burn out on them pretty quickly. So I try not to invest too much money in buying them. But anyway, so I don't know if I'm going to necessarily check out this um, promotion they got going on with what appears to be legendary. Uh, it appears that it's going to be. The MonsterVerse, I'm not sure if it's 100% confirmed from Call of Duty uh, or Legendary for that matter. But there is a an Orca sound effect at the end of this trailer. And there, there are monster roars that they can hear. It does sound like Kong. I got to be honest, this promo gives me more Kong vibes than anything else. It does not give me, it does not give me Godzilla vibes at all. Uh, even the the island they're on, it looks very much like Skull Island. This is this again. I, this again gives me that feeling that I said in yesterday's video. This is a big shift in the direction of Kong, especially if this turns out to be mostly Kong related. In other words, they're on Skull Island, or they build a story around Kong and waking him up, or or something like that. Then, guys, I, I'm telling you right now, I'm getting. I, I, I don't know how you feel, but I'm getting these vibes that Kong is going to be the centerpiece of the MonsterVerse. And that's that's not a bad thing because that doesn't mean the end of Godzilla. I just think that Toho does want to take the reins. But I can't sit here and say that I'm going to try this. Um, you know, it would require me to buy Vanguard, number one. And number two, it would also require me to play Warzone. I don't think I'm going to spend money to do either or. Um... Number one, I don't. I never really played Warzone. Uh, I'm just not. I don't have enough time to play that game to get any good at that portion of the game. So when I do play <clears throat> Call of Duty, I play mainly multiplayer. You know what I mean? Because I'm much better at that. And um, I don't know if if in order to check this out, I think you got to play Warzone and you got to have Vanguard. Um, there'll be plenty of people streaming this. Doctor Disrespect, him, the Tap Man. You know what I mean? Uh, Summit 1G, all those guys that play these games, Dr. Lupo and all that stuff. So you can just watch their streams if you want to see what it's all about. Believe me, on launch day, they're going to be playing it. Launch day is 12 days away. 12 days away, this is supposed to release. So within 12 days, you'll be able to see what it's all about. They'll probably release another trailer. Now, I'm not saying Godzilla won't be in this. I, I would find it hard to believe that they wouldn't throw him in there somewhere. All I'm saying is that I'm getting Kong vibes from this. You know what I mean? I'm getting... I, it just... When I look at the trailer and I hear the roars, I'm like, yeah, this sound, this looks to me like a Kong thing. So 
And if it is, get ready because this might be ramping up towards other things. You know, uh, more information about the Kong movie coming out, uh, more information about maybe the animated show. Who knows? You know, but there is a lot of kaiju stuff going on, and that is a good thing. Overall, that is a good thing. So, Gamera, where are you? Well, we'll do a video on Gamera pretty soon, guys. I haven't forgot about him. But for the most part, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. I'm very happy that um, Call of Duty, a game that big, is going to be doing of an event like this. This is good exposure for Kaiju and the MonsterVerse. I'm very happy to see that uh, uh, Ultraman is, is going to have their movie next month. And I'm happy to see that there are other, you know countries and other directors and 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 institutions that want to you know movie institutions that are doing monster stuff this is good this is what we want you know what i mean so um i would say be happy you know i mean not that you have to if you're miserable because you don't like all this stuff that's fine but i'm just saying it, it it's an encouraging thing i think it's something that we should be happy about uh we should be proud of and i think it's just something that we should all pat ourselves on the back we all I believe with our support of the MonsterVerse, of the kaiju genre, uh, have a lot to do with this, you know? So so pat yourself on the back. Take a moment to, to you know, lift a beer or something. I got coffee here, so I'll just, you know. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. But we'll talk about all this stuff tonight on the stream. That'll be at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, pop on here. We got a lot to discuss. I want to hear what you guys think. I want to check out these trailers with you. And uh, talk about this Cloverfield thing. Uh, let's see if something happens today. I'm kind of hoping something does. But I do think it's a bullshit thing. But even if it's not, we can speculate reasons as to why it won't be. Um, because I, I want it to be real. I do. I, I like Cloverfield. And I want to see where they go with that. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Or if you're returning and like, oh, this guy's doing videos again. Yes, I am. Uh, and I promise to be as consistent as possible. It'll only wrap up, really. Uh you know, one of the things that people in my stream know, and I'll tell you guys here that I only watch the videos, the real key to me doing videos on a regular basis without any interruption is having my own space. Right now, we're still house hunting. That's been a challenge, especially since the market's getting worse. So once we get a house and I have my own room where I can set up all this stuff that I have um, without worrying about kids making noise and all that kind of stuff. You know, because it does play a big role. Right now, I'm kind of by myself, so I take advantage. But all right, guys, that's it for this one. Take it easy, and I hope to see you guys tonight. Don't forget, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the channel. Thank you. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy.